Hello, my name is Alexander Martin. I am an application en engineer here at Unitronics. This webinar will cover setting up an email in our Unilogic software to run an example program on our Unistream 7 PLC. If you have any ideas for future webinars, please send your suggestions to our email at support at unitronics.com. As an overview, Unilogic has email setup built in for easy configuration. You can access multiple email accounts. You can compose and view the email message using a drag and drop interface. You can attach files. You can send pre-configured or dy uh, dynamic email recipients. Uh, there's no limit on recipients since each is assigned uh, within a tag or a struct. One of the first things to do when setting up an email is to select which account you wish to use. To do this, you will go to the Accounts tab and select Add Account. There you can assign an account name for use within Unilogic. You can then enter the username or email account address that you wish to use. You can then enter the account password for that email address and then configure the outgoing server settings. It comes pre-configured for Gmail, Hotmail, and Yahoo. Uh, but other information can be entered using the custom option. And once the account information is set up, you can configure any email message. After selecting emails, you can add and configure different mail messages. Selecting add mail messages adds a new message and automatically assigns a global struct uh, with specific tags. These tags are a bit for success and fail and an integer email status. To configure each message, uh, simply click on the name of the mail message in order to open the mail composer. Next, you can compose the email message. Unilogic utilizes a user-friendly drag-and-drop configuration for email. Uh, the subject and other email elements are added in the composition window. You can add fixed text, binary text variables, list of text, number variables, and line breaks for multiple lines. This allows the user to view how the message will be laid out and viewed by any recipients. The properties window is used to configure each element as well as the overall email. The general properties window for the email allows us to configure any uh, email recipients, who the email is to, carbon copies, and blind carbon copies. You can link link which email account the message is being sent from if multiple email accounts are being used, rename the mail message, and add any attachments. Once the email is complete, we can set the conditions in the logic to send the mail message. It is quite easy to send email within the logic. You only need to select the mail function block. This can be found within the COM, SMS, and email drop-down menu located within the toolbox. And after placing the send email function block, you can link to the specific mail message you wish to send. The messages are found within the email struct that is automatically displayed when clicking on which mail you want to send. This concludes the PowerPoint presentation. Next, I will show an example program that uses these email functions. I'm connecting to the controller using a VNC viewer. Here is how the program looks. I have an ASCII string located on the screen, which I can type in who I want to send it to. I will send it to my work email. I can add a subject also attached to an email string. I'm um, sorry, an ASCII string. I have a couple of bits and a number which was comprised in the email uh, composition window. I can turn these bits on and assign a number that I wish to send.
and then I can send the email. As you can see, the send email button uh, has been disabled while the email status is one or two. Uh, when I open the project in Unilogic, I will show how that is programmed. Now I can open up my email. We can see that I received an email. The subject was test emails. I typed it in. In the configuration, I had test email. The three bits, the first two, bit one being on, bit two being on, bit three being off, and the value that I typed in was 1237. I can now open the program to show you how this was set up. As we saw, we had all the information linked on the HMI screen, the different bits and the number, who the email was to, a subject, and the send email button, as well as email status. To start off, we add the email account. I've added my Unitronics Gmail account. I assigned an account name, Unitronics email account. I've typed in my password and set up the outgoing server settings for Gmail. To add a new account, all you need to do is click on the Add New Account button. Another account will come down where you can enter information into the username uh, for the account you wish to use and type in your password. As you can see, the password is hidden. However, if you do click the I icon, it will show what you've typed. And for the outgoing server settings, you can set the account type as Gmail, Hotmail, and Yahoo, which are already pre-configured. Or you can select Custom to enter in any other server information. Once you've added an account, you can then select emails to add the message. Selecting Add New Mail adds a new message. This will also add a global struct for that information. We've added mail one. If I select it again, it will add one for mail two. And we already have uh, email struct for our testing email, which comprises the success, failed, and status integer. To add this message, all I need to do is click on the name of the mail. The mail we were sending was testing. This opens up the composer. Here we have the basic layout of the message. I have the subject linked to an ASCII string on the HMI. And I've added different email elements in the message composer. I've added static text, binary text variables. And whenever you select on an email element, the properties window in the bottom right is how you'll configure it. For this variable, I've selected bit one, but I can also select bit two or three. And I've done the same for bit two and three here. I have added line breaks from the email elements to separate multiple lines. And I have also added a number variable as the last element to send, which was input value one. There's also general properties for each email message. Here's when you send, where you send uh, different attachments uh, who the email is to, what account you'll be linking if you have multiple email accounts. You can rename the mail. And here I have sent the email to an HMI element uh, linked on the screen. And now the message was configured and how, now that it's all laid out, we can send it within the logic. To do this, simply navigate to the ladder. Navigate to the com, SMS, and email window, and use the send mail function block. It will ask for which mail message you wish to send. When selecting, it will automatically send, um, select the email struct, where your different messages will already be um, set up. We will be sending the testing email. And below what I've done is set the email status so that if it is one or two, which is email message um, function started and in progress, 
to disable the email send button on the HMI screen. And that is how you set up a email message and send it. Uh, this concludes the presentation. I hope you found the information helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at support at unitronics.com. Thank you.